We're asked to determine the limit using L'Hopital's rule. Let's begin by checking the form. As x approaches 0, the numerator approaches square root 1 minus square root 1, which is 1 minus 1, or 0. And the denominator also approaches 0. Notice how this is one of the indeterminate forms in which we can apply L'Hopital's rule, which states the limit as x approaches c of f of x divided by g of x equals the limit as x approaches c of f prime of x divided by g prime of x. So we'll first determine the limit by applying L'Hopital's rule, but then I'll also show a second method where we can determine the limit by rationalizing the numerator. So before we apply L'Hopital's rule, let's write the numerator using rational exponents, where we have the limit as x approaches 0 of the quantity 1 plus 2x to the power of 1 half minus the quantity 1 minus 5x raised to the power of 1 half, all divided by 2x. And now we'll determine the derivative of the numerator and denominator. The derivative of the quantity 1 plus 2x to the power of 1 half is 1 half times the quantity 1 plus 2x raised to the power of 1 half minus 1, which is negative 1 half, times the derivative of the inner function of 1 plus 2x, which is 2. And then we have minus the derivative of the quantity 1 minus 5x to the 1 half, which is 1 half times the quantity 1 minus 5x to the power of negative 1 half, and then times the derivative of 1 minus 5x, which is negative 5. And now we differentiate the denominator of 2x, which is 2. And now let's begin simplifying. In the numerator, notice 1 half times 2 is equal to 1. Let's rewrite the quantity 1 plus 2x to the negative 1 half as 1 divided by the square root of the quantity 1 plus 2x. And then we have minus 1 half times the quantity 1 minus 5x to the negative 1 half times negative 5. This simplifies to plus 5 divided by the product of 2 and the square root of the quantity 1 minus 5x. And now from here, dividing by 2 is equivalent to multiplying by 1 half. So let's rewrite this by multiplying the numerator by 1 half. This is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 half times the first fraction gives us 1 divided by the product of 2 and the square root of the quantity 1 plus 2x. And then plus multiplying the second fraction by 1 half, we would have 5 divided by the product of 4 and the square root of the quantity 1 minus 5x. Notice this 2 here became 4 because we multiplied it by 2 when multiplying by 1 half. And now we can determine the limit by performing direct substitution. The limit is equal to 1 divided by 2 times the square root of 1 plus 5 divided by 4 times the square root of 1. Again, I simply substituted 0 for x. Simplifying, we have 1 half plus 5 fourths and obtaining a common denominator of 4, we have 2 fourths plus 5 fourths, which is equal to 7 fourths. So applying L'Hopital's rule, we found the limit is equal to 7 fourths. Before I also show how to find the limit by rationalizing the numerator, let's verify this graphically. Here we have the graph of the divisional function. Notice as we approach x equals 0 from the right and from the left, we are approaching the y value or function value of 1.75, which is 7 fourths. And now going back to the original limit, let's show how we can determine the limit by rationalizing the numerator, which means we will multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of the quantity 1 plus 2x plus the square root of the quantity 1 minus 5x. And let's work this out below. So again, notice here we're multiplying the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the original numerator. And now we'll multiply the numerators. So first we have the square root of the quantity 1 plus 2x times itself, which gives one factor of 1 plus 2x. Then the next two products, this product and this product are opposites and simplify to zero. And the last product is negative square root of the quantity 1 minus 5x times positive square root of the quantity 1 minus 5x which gives us minus one factor of one minus five x. And we'll leave the denominator as our product as two x times the quantity, the square root of the quantity one plus two x plus square root of the quantity one minus five x. And now let's simplify the numerator. 
we have one minus one, which is zero, and then two x minus negative five x, which simplifies to seven x, and the denominator remains the same. And we can simplify one last time. Notice how we have a common factor of x between the numerator and denominator, which means the original limit is equal to the limit as x approaches zero of seven divided by two times the quantity, the square root of the quantity one plus two x plus the square root of the quantity one minus five x. And now we can actually determine the limit by performing direct substitution. We have seven divided by two times the quantity square root one plus square root one, which is one plus one, giving us seven divided by the product of two and two, which gives us the same result of seven fourths. So again, we first showed how to find the limit using L'Hopital's rule, and then here we showed how to find the limit by rationalizing the numerator. I hope you found this helpful.